Ukrainian army launched full-scale attack of Novorossiya yesterday. A massive artillery fire was in DPR and LPR. The hardest clashes were at Donetsk airport sector, City Gorlovka and Havi from Frunze to Bakhmutovka in LPR. Many locals are killed as a result of Ukrainian artillery and MRLS's fire. Gorlovka was on fire last night. Nowadays, people's self-defense forces successfully repelled attacks. Ukrainian army continues concentration of military forces near Donetsk. A military traffic of artillery, armored vehicles and military contingent are there. There is a big concentration of military forces near Avdiivka, Nikishina, Dibaltseva. Some activity of Ukrainian army detected in the south region. Relations between the West and Russia in light of the Ukrainian crisis and aid to East European partners will be in the focus of the SNOW meeting, a traditional informal discussion club involving foreign ministers of some countries, representatives of the AU and NATO, and experts in international politics, the Lithuanian foreign ministry said on Thursday. The participants will discuss measures to protect the West's values from the Russia. They will also discuss assistance to Ukraine, Moldova, Georgia and other countries to overcoming so-called Russia pressure, the ministry said. Same time, a new poll showed that Obama's approval rating crashed among the U.S. military. According to the Military Times, only 15 percent of active duty service members approve of President Obama's performance as commander-in-chief. Obama's general approval rating is lower than 50 percent. So, Lithuanian Foreign Minister Linas Linkovicius and other well-known U.S. puppets in Europe will do anything to escalate conflict toward Russia and move upward Obama's approval rating with the help of new war. NATO Secretary General Jens Stoltenberg thanked Germany for its leadership in challenging times to the alliance during a visit to Berlin on Wednesday, 14 January 2015. Germany is a staunch and important ally, the Secretary General said after meeting Chancellor Angela Merkel. We appreciate Germany's great contributions to our security. Mr. Stoltenberg called the recent attacks in Paris a stark reminder of the current challenging security environment. NATO is playing its role in fighting terror, he said. The leadership in challenging times and security environment are good words for the explanation of current situation in Germany. But the 42 foreign military bases, generally American, on the territory of Germany hide under these words. Now you know that the most important mark of independence and leadership of any country is deploying of US military bases. We thank our information partners for help with spreading this video news. Subscribe to our channel to receive up-to-date information on the situation in Ukraine and current geopolitical events in Europe.